massage guns started gaining popularity about a year ago with huge claims like relieving muscle tension, improving circulation, and cutting down recovery time between workouts. With such big claims, massage guns like Hypervolt and Theragun began flying off the shelves. But these brands are pretty expensive and provide a financial hurdle for a lot of consumers. So like everything else out there, cheaper options began getting made. Now the question is, do these cheaper options work? Today I'm trying out a mini massage gun from Recover Fun to see how it holds up against my Hypervolt. Let me know in the comments below if you have a massage gun and if you've invested in a big brand name or opted for something at a lower price point. Hello! Alright guys, so we are going to be talking all about massage guns today. There we go. This is the Recover Fun Mini. So we do actually already own a Hypervolt, which was very expensive. And this one is definitely a much lesser price point, so I'm excited to test it out, see if it is worth the money. We're just gonna kinda <laughs> open this guy up. Ooh, this little case, very cute. Oh my God, I forgot that I asked for the pink one. Oh, it's heavy though, jeez. All right, so, well, so this is really cute. It's the Recover Fun Mini. I got it in pink. It has a few different attachments. So it has a little USB charger and then it has this attachment, this one, and this one that kind of looks like the claw from Toy Story. You've got this little bag so you can throw everything in. This is super cute. We're gonna charge it. So we also have a Hypervolt, like I said. So the Hypervolt is a little bit bigger. This price point is around $300. So the Recover Fund is definitely a smaller, more compact, much more affordable option. Once it charges, I'm excited to compare them. So with this guy, you just Flick it on on the bottom, and then you're gonna have a little button here that you can press, and you can increase the speed, and that's gonna show up up here, and then you just like uh, go to town. Zoe usually likes it when she's awake. So let's chat about why these are good for you. So massage guns can be really good for people because essentially they're going to break up adhesions and tension within your body. It's one of the same reasons why massages can be super beneficial. You know, just like daily wear and tear, whether you are an athlete or whether you are sedentary, you're gonna build up certain muscle imbalances and muscle tension within your body. So getting that relieved either manually by a massage or manually through a massage gun is gonna be super beneficial. She's charged! Baby. All right, you got your little power button with your charger and this is gonna show you your intensity. So you're just gonna hold this down. Oh, she powerful. All right, let's see. Let's go. Ooh. Oh wait, this is like... Oh my God. All right, this is great. This flat one, this is really cute. Um, I would say this would be for more like sensitive places. So neck, forearm, things where like the skin is a little bit thinner. If you wanna get deeper, I'm gonna try some of the other attachments because when I just put it on my calf, I was like, I don't really feel anything. I think it's too flat for that, but it's like so cute. So let's try, let's try the ball one. And you have to be careful. I do this all the time with the Hyperbowl. I'll like half put it in, then I turn it on and it goes like, like flying across the room. Let's try and get, get this angle. Jesus. Let's try and like, There she is. Zoe, you want some Hypervolt? Sorry, you want some Recover Fun? Come here. Come here. Zoe, look. Let's leave that to her. See it? Yeah, we usually like it. Oh, I shouldn't like that. <laughs> I would definitely say like solid investment if you, especially like if you don't 
want to spend $300 on a massage gun? I don't really think you would need to. I would definitely recommend this for especially people who want to keep this like at their office or at their desk. What? Because it actually is pretty quiet. I would definitely like use this at the desk like once an hour, getting the forearms, um, both sides, just to release those muscles. I've even been having a lot of issues with my right hand because I'm spending so much time at the computer and I'm just finding that I'm holding a lot of tension right here. So I would like, I would put on this attachment and like, actually, let's try it. Oh my God, I'm a genius. All right, that's enough of that. This looks so dirty now. Let's take that off. So definitely recommend this. I will leave this linked down um, in the description box below in case you want to get one. And if you want to know my favorite ways to use a massage gun, just stick around for the next 10 seconds because I want to show you. Obviously, it's a completely different day. All right, so I just want to kind of go over like the technique that most people should use while they're using a massage gun, as well as some of the better places to get. So I'm actually gonna put the round head on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to turn myself to the side and I'm gonna use my other hand to just prop myself up. So the first thing you wanna do is just like scan the tissue. So as you're scanning, you're just kind of like letting the muscle get used to it. What you don't wanna do is press into the muscle. So if you do, do need more pressure, I would just go up a notch rather than pushing in. And then once I'm ready, I'm gonna to start to move side to side. So not only working up and down vertically, working horizontally. So then I'm gonna to start to scan for like a sore spot or a tender spot. So once I find that tender spot, I am gonna kind of hang out over it. So again, you don't wanna like dig down in, but just making either little circles, sticking in that area. All right, so that's the technique. Now I just wanna go through and I wanna show you, oh my gosh, the creepiest floor in the world. So that's the technique. Now I just wanna go through and show you some of my favorite places to use the massage gun. So we're actually gonna start with the flat head. So like I was saying earlier in the video, I like the flat head for more sensitive areas, places with um, thinner skin. And I'm gonna keep it on the lowest setting just to start, especially with those more sensitive places. So I'm gonna start with it on my neck. So I like to go on the sides, again, doing that scan first. Other side you can do as well. Oh my God, that feels so good. Another great place is gonna be the chest. So a lot of us sit all day, which is gonna put the uh, chest in this constant state of flexion, which means that a lot of times the muscles are being overused, they're being tightened. So we're just gonna like, poor choice of shirt for this. Oh, this works. So just bring it again, whoa. All the way across the chest. Oh my God, that's like freaky. Good, and up and down. Just like watching out for your bones. You don't want to put this on your bones. A lot of times where I find a lot of tension is right on the sides, like by the armpit. So that's usually a point where I'm gonna make some circles. Good, and the other place that I like to use the uh, flat head is gonna be on the forearms. So working up and down, killing my Fitbit. Other side is good too. Just making sure that you're doing both hands, or both arms. So even though like one side might be tighter, or feeling different than the other, you always still wanna like do it on both sides. All right, so then I'm gonna move into the pointy head. So with the pointy head, I'm actually only gonna use this on my hands. So I like to get it right in here, um, especially on my right hand because I'm a righty and I use it a lot, grabbing things, typing, writing. So again, remembering that you don't wanna dig in, you just wanna place it. That's the whole concept of like percussive massage. It's not a deep tissue massage. And then final one, the ball head. So we kind of already did these, but I'll show you one more time. So my favorite places are gonna be your QL, which is right back here. It's one of the deepest muscles of your, actually I think it is the deepest muscle in your core. Just watch for the bones. So that's gonna hold a lot of tension during the day as we're seated. Another great place working our way down, it's gonna be that IT band. We're gonna do the TFL and IT band. And I just like to take like long swipes for that. Look at this, look at this angle. I feel like Ariel on the rock. Okay, and then into the hamstring. After that, the only other place that I like really, really love is doing the calf. So working my way down on the calf, but not like that. 
All right, so that is it. So again, guys, this is the Recover Fund Mini. You can pick one of these up by using the link in the description box below. If you have any questions at all about massage guns or this little guy right here, feel free to leave them in the comments. Give this video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.